Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I want to take you back about 24 hours ago, and this was the map that I was showing you from yesterday through this morning. The snowfall and the precipitation potential 7 to 9 inches north, 5 to 8 along that I 70 corridor. Three to five inches potentially across southern portions of the valley. Well, let's fast forward about 24 hours and thanks to the help of you, the viewers sending in your snowfall reports and numbers from the National Weather Service. This is what we're looking at right along that to nine area. We've received anywhere from seven to 9.9 .9 inches closer to the Park County Rockville area. 7.3 over near Mattoon stepped outside in Terre Haute this morning. We measured six inches of snow, a report of about seven and a half across northern portions of Vigo County and then south where we expected the snow totals to be a little bit less. Well, that's exactly what happened. Three inches reported in Vincennes, 3.8 from the Bloomfield area close to Linton across Greene County, 4.6 inches in Robinson, and Flora had a report of right around four inches of snow. So again, right on track with exactly what we were thinking as we uh, told you about all that snow that was coming in along that winter storm. We're still not quite done just yet. Storm tracker showing us that we still have some very light snow that's falling across southern portions of the valley. Very light snow closer to the Sumner area, northern Knox County, southern Green County. That's going to be just about it that's out there for us this midday snow winding down, but winds picking up and because of that we're still looking at that winter storm warning in effect to one o'clock 12 central. So for the next 45 minutes or so, also that winter weather advisory highlighted in purple there. A new concern we're going to be dealing with once that snow exits cold air moving in and that is why a new advisory has been put out and that's a wind chill advisory it goes into effect for Cumberland County, Edgar County in Illinois around nine o'clock over in Vermilion and Park County is in Indiana. That wind chill advisory goes into effect at five o'clock in the morning. Some much cooler air set to move in and it's going to get down right cold. A wind chill outside right now around eight. That's what it feels like as you step outside in Mattoon. Eleven in Rockville feels like 14 in Terre Haute. Actual air temperature about 25 out there this midday. It's 22 in Rockville, 28 in Robinson, 27 down in Awnie. I want to give you a look at the bigger picture again. We had a lot of heavy snow move through during the overnight last night. That center of low pressure already well off to our east. And we're still seeing some wraparound moisture on the backside of that system. And that's what's producing this uh, very light scattered snow shower here and there across the area. And that's kind of what we're expecting as we head through the day. So again, uh, that chance of some widespread snow is already starting to exit to our east. Looking at just some uh, light snow showers for the remainder of this afternoon, but a second concern that's going to be blowing snow with these gusty winds in excess of 35 miles per hour at times. So here's your day planner again, starting us off with some light snow this morning. It's not out of the question that you won't see at least a light flurry or two, but that measurable snowfall looks to have wrapped up for the day today. Now through the overnight tonight, well, that's when we're talking about the cold settling in. Skies turn partly cloudy and it drops back to about two. The wind chill is low. It's 13 below. It's definitely going to be a lot colder come Thursday morning. And then we're really just not going to warm things back up much at all. The high near nine Thursday afternoon, partly cloudy sky. So at least we'll see a little bit of sunshine out there for your Thursday and then turn in very cold as we drop back to four below by Friday morning. So your forecast for today, I do believe we'll get closer to that 28 degree mark here in Terre Haute. Light snow from this morning will continue to blow around with gusty winds out of the northwest for this afternoon. We'll drop back to two through the overnight. The skies turn partly cloudy and it turns a lot colder and it stays colder. Only near nine. Your forecast daytime high on Thursday. And we track another weather system potentially bringing a chance for, well, one to two inches of snow in Friday into Saturday. Not a lot of snow, but of course, I think at this point, Brittany, many of us just do not want any more snow in the forecast. So a little bit more it looks like coming in on Saturday. But we made it through this past one, and hopefully everyone's staying safe out there on the roadways. Keep in mind, they're going to be slick for at least the uh, next day or so. Hey, I'm right there with you with no more snow in the forecast. Let's just jump to spring and summer. Let's get it over with. <laughs> All right, sounds good.